Got it there? Now, as I mentioned, there is a huge undercard for this fight as well. We're joined by some of those on the stage now. We'll have a quick chat with them. Then we'll come back to our main event. We'll take questions from the media and the floor. But directly behind me, we're joined today by Kimbo Slice, all the way from the United States of America. I'm sure there are plenty here to see Kimbo. Kimbo, thanks for you've been in Australia a few days. How have you found it? It's cool, man. I'm like Australia. It's all right. <laughs> um, yeah, if you want. Hello. You are now. Um, thank you all. I am Eric Shaw, for those of you who may not know me. And uh, other than uh, Daniel Gill and Joe Brockner, I, I represent Kimbo Slice. So before Kimbo answers any of your questions, I'd like to say a few things about Kimbo. So you get to know him on a few different levels. Um, he's joined up on the top by his manager and advisor, Icy Mike, and uh, we've all been together for um, Kimbo's reign through cage fighting into boxing. Um, let me just read you some of the things. He's a renowned internet fighter with millions of hits on the internet. He's known originally for backyard and street fighting. He's done some of the highest ratings in the history of CBS television in the United States and on Showtime. He's a former UFC fighter. When I first met Kimbo and we signed him, he once said to me, do you mind if I break someone's bones? I said, well, nobody's ever said that to me. Why would you say that? He said, because when I break him, I've never actually heard the bone break. I said, Kimbo, I want to sign you. you got the right attitude, my man. So Kimbo is a, a family man, um, but when he gets in the ring, it's all business. And the one thing I can say about Kimbo Slice that you all see here in Australia is the man is ring and boxing tested and street certified. It's my pleasure to introduce Kimbo Slice to you. Thank you, Gary Short. Now, Kimbo, we heard about bone breaking there. Should we expect any this Wednesday night? I come to knock this dude out, man. You know, to, to put as much pain and damage to this cat as possible. Well, this cat is Shane Tilliard, who joins us as well. Shane, you won the competition to fight Kimbo Slice. Now you've got to do it. How do you feel about that? Yeah, I feel good. This is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. Um, I've been presented with a couple of big fights in my time. You know, I, don't, I never go down to a fight. Um, I've been watching Kimbo since day one. You know, everyone's seen the street fights. Um, I'm a fan, just like everybody else. But when you get an opportunity to be tested like this, you don't say no. You know, if you're a fighter, you, you, you just fight. Now Shane has an amazing record of either knocking out opponents or being knocked out uh, this Wednesday night. I'm guessing we're expecting it's going to go either way, Shane. I can't see it going any other way. We both love knocking people out. And uh, Kimbo didn't come all this way just for a pit of paddle fight. I'm not going to get in there and start dancing around and being an idiot. I'm, I'm, I'm here to knock him out as well. You know? Kimbo, do you have a response to that? Shane Tilliard says that he's here to knock you out. We wait till Wednesday night. 